Cruise in the Andrea 67 Mustang Coupe. Just got done restoring it this spring. I spent 11 years off and on working on it. And we've got it going. We've got 1,200 miles on it. As you can tell, it shifts pretty good. We put an overdrive automatic transmission in it, 380 rear end. It's got really nice power coming out of the hole above that overdrive trans. It cruises down the highway really nice at 70 miles an hour. Uh, Andrea and I are looking to just have some fun with this, drive it around and uh, take it to some shows. Uh, sounds really good. Got the windows up. Let me step on the air. Here we go. Runs pretty good. That was 40 to 80 really quick. So I started on the back end, put the tail lights in, so that's where we're going to start on our walk around. Upgraded with three lights in each socket. Originally it had one, it was really dim. Uh, 20 gallon tank, so we got some cruising range, new chrome on the back. I spent a lot of time on the exhaust. I picked a Magnaflow two and a half inch stainless with a cross pipe. And I like how they just kind of peek out below, below the uh, rear balance. Looks really sleek and clean. We picked 17 inch American Racing rims on Nito tires. 255s in the rear, 245s in the front, give it a little bit of a stance. I'm really happy with how the paint turned out. The color is um, a Phoenician yellow. It is a 65 color, actually. This is a 67. Uh, I debadged the whole car. You'll notice as we go around, there's no badges on the car. Took the emblem off the fender, the lettering off the trunk, and the, and the lettering off the front. And uh, we did a little custom work on the grill as well. Okay, this car originally from the factory had just lap belts on it. We've uh, made it safer by putting three belt, three point seat belts uh, in the front seat and also in the rear, so I can take my grandkids for a ride. I also reupholstered the seats with upholstery from TMI, which included cushions to make it have some side bolstering, a little extra height, and added headrest for in case of a rear end accident. Instead of the large horse that was up here with the big wing. We ended up just mounting a 289 fender that was normally on the badge. And the headlights we added, um, they look like old bulbs, but they actually have a halogen bulb in the back, so they're a modern day lighting. They're really nice and bright, not like they were back in the 60s. Under the hood is the original block 289, but it is no longer original. Uh, rebuilt by CD's engine service. A roller rocker's nice cam. Uh, it's a little bit more power than the 289 Hypo was. We added fuel injection air conditioning, and uh, that combination just runs really good, sounds really healthy. Um, it runs on premium fuel, and um, so far only a couple leaks that we gotta find out, but hey, we're getting through.